I've bought another car. Oh. Welcome back once again. You join me Easter Monday for more rally preparation. Surprise, surprise. But we are having some issues. After North Wales, we had a clutch issue to diagnose and a braking issue. It, it wasn't without its dramas. As I bring you some of the reaction from the stage end, you have still got. I thought that was all it was going to be. Don't worry about it. Just driving the car around um, when we got back from the rally. The car cut out, went into limp mode, the power steering went, the battery light came on and managed to limp it back home. And I just assumed that the car had actually run out of petrol because it literally was like basically empty. Stuck it up on jack sands, haven't touched it thinking that it was, I just needed to put petrol in it. Petrol went in it the other day, nothing. So the issue we're having now is that the car will power up. When you crank it, the starter motor will just click. I can't start it on the key. I've changed, I've tried a couple of batteries to see. I could push start it and it would just start up fine. Got it started outside, pushed it back in the garage. I noticed that the car was discharging. Battery volts were dropping, switch would indicate alternator. Maybe, but chasing that down at the moment. So it's Easter Monday, I've been chasing problems for a while already and I've still got replacement clutch to go in and I haven't even dropped the box yet. The fault finding continues. This is the alternator out of the 53. I think I found the issue. No idea what this block does, but as you can see, this connection is rubbish. basically non-existent. I suspect that that is what was potentially causing an issue. So I'm going to quickly try replacing this unit with the bad unit, but I'm going to work this back together quickly and test it at least to see if this is the, the fault. All right, so I've rebuilt that alternator, so I'm just gonna give it a quick test. I don't have an awful lot of hope for this because I think something's also up with the starter motor, but I'm just gonna give it a test and see. Car's powered on, give it a crank and see what happens. Something else. Ah. <sighs> Still fault finding. If I jump the starter from this connector here, even on the standard little battery, the starter motor turns over fine. So I'm gonna actually test the ignition switch because I'm wondering if it's failing and maybe isn't passing the right current through. So this is still what it does. But if I remove this connector, leaving the ignition off, and then on the engine side, there's a black and yellow wire. If I short it out, listen to how the starter cranks, which makes me wonder where the issue is. So you can hear how strongly that cranks when I skip, when I skip the ignition switch. So the car would actually run if I had the ignition on. The starter motor seems to actually be fine. So it's something between somewhere. I'm pretty certain now that it's an EWS issue after getting the alternators to work, testing the starter motor, ignition switch, bypassing the EWS two different ways to crank the starter. Pretty sure it's that. So I now need to actually change the clutch because that was the actual issue that I was meant to be doing this bank holiday weekend. So it's now um, 7.39, you can't see that, but it is 7.39 on uh, Bank Holiday Monday evening. And I'm going to see how difficult these 53 clutches are to change. I've heard terrible things, so let's see.
All right, so it's five past 12. Just got the box out. The 53 is quite a different beast in terms of gearbox. I think it's much more of a two man job rather than one man. The Midlands box was pretty manageable, but that lump is heavy. And there's loads more going on up here that make it really quite complicated to get off the engine. So now I'm gonna get this clutch off and have an inspect. Okay, so finally got the clutch out. Late as ever, as I've just said, that is an impossible task. However, the I think the clutch was definitely on its way. I mean, you can see the sheen. There is no um, wear lines. And this side, you can sort of see some of the wear lines. So I think the intermittent slipping that we were getting, sort of like three and a half thousand plus, um, especially in higher gears, I think this is the issue. Or maybe I should actually go to bed because it's 12.19. Oh shit, so much to do still. Not much video in today to try and um, really smash through things. Me and Louie got the gearbox back on this morning, clutch installed, um, and I've been buttoning up the engine bay today. But of course, more issues. <laughs> I broke the slave cylinder pipe last night. The slave cylinder was leaking. So I wanted to check it out. Went to pop the fixing out and well, it just broke off and it broke the rusty pipe. Of course, I don't have a spare that's correct, but we are gonna make something work. So what I'm gonna try and work out now, this is a master cylinder off another Mini, but with a five-speed Getrag box. So it's the 50 Cooper I bought that was wrong. Now this slave cylinder and line is different. So I might just be able to make that work. It's way longer, but the travel is actually the same, just offset. So my plan, is to offset and space this one out and sit it about there. That should mean that the travel of the clutch between the two oh, is still the same. Solution to what was a very disappointing and stressful last night because I didn't think we were going to the rally anymore. So fingers crossed, eh? Moment of truth. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. If it works, it works though. So clutch pedal feels great. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about is whether that output plunger piston, whatever you want to call it, inside the slave cylinder is pushing out far enough. Time will tell. So I got to button the rest of this car up and then get out because time is ticking. So the EMS ECU out of sync issue, I seem to have managed to solve with a switch down here. It's not gonna live down here forever. This was just a test solution. So this plugs into the two wires that come in and out of the EWS module that sits up there. It's skipping the EWS module and the button allows me when I'm cranking the car to send the cranking apps to the starter. So it's basically just bypassing it and letting 12 volts get to the starter motor, which so far has worked flawlessly since I put it in. So. Fingers crossed, that's the get out of jail free card on that. Right, evening. So I've been rubbish at Feynman today because there's been loads to do. It's um, Friday, leaving for Anglesey tomorrow. Car is all ready to go, back from Simon. So the setup approach we've gone for is um, Isle of Man. Obviously that's not this rally and the SMC stages would have benefited from a much more stiff, more aggressive setup, but thought it was best to get a handle of the car in our man spec instead because it's a bit more neutral. So anyway, gonna test that out. After the poll on Facebook, wheels are now black. In other news, which um, was unexpected was today, was bought another car. Oh. One, two.
She's not sounding whoa, 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 over, over, over. Game over. Please like and subscribe.